7th August 2021. Hello Jogues, it's me, 32 years old Jogues. So this video is going to be a video basis or like a video later to my future self. Okay, so today I'm here in the Tower of London. So this is like one of the oldest castle here in UK, I guess. I think it's about like 600 or 700 years old. Um, so yeah, this is like very historical place here in London. So this is the John 1 Central London. Oh yeah, so today I'm gonna, I will admit that um, number 10 is done now. Done and dusted, so 10 number is done and dusted. So I don't have to worry about that. And I will say it is not like what I thought it, it would be because I don't know, after like 10 years, after 10 experience at the age of 32, I didn't feel great because you know that, um, I think Tyler, was, he said that there are like four types of motivation we have. Some are mating, status, metaheuristic, and freedom. So basically freedom is like, you know, you want like freedom, you want to travel around. So that's the entrance for the tower gate. You know that because it says that one is the freedom so uh, people they like freedom they like to travel around the world without any lock on their legs so they can freely move around second one is the militaristic people who like like nice cars nice houses like in a bling bling and the third one is the mating people they like to mate with you know like opposite sex or same sex and i would say my strongest one is the, um, the last one is the status because I want to be like you know like a Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa like those kind of people because wherever I go I want people to recognize me and give credit to me say that oh this guy helped me a lot so that's my thing because mating is definitely of mine because at the age of 32 I realized that, um, that mating is not for me like it, it, will, it will come in my last bit and Oh, it's a nice view. I guess we're out here now. So that's the tower bridge. I think tower is, is about like 310 meters high. And as you can see, that's the uh, Thames River. And behind me, there's the tallest building in the UK, the Shard. It's a nice view. Good job. So this is the tallest building in the UK. And I think it's And there's the tower of London, it's nice view. I was talking about the main thing, it's not my house in the first. First is status, the second one will be, to be honest, metaheuristic because I like nice cars, I don't like GTR, Lamborghini, those kind of things. Freedom, and the fourth is meeting is the last one. Um, in this video message, I just want to be honest with myself and I want to go through my life is as quick as possible but really, I'm not sure whether I can hear my voice after all so I will say obviously born in 1989 in Taiwan from Hong Kong to Tasmania three four years ago I moved to this house and I started and I was Hill School for the A level, but I was really bad because you know the people it was like a lot of Nepalese people and it was in a good environment. So my dad moved. Oh, it's not a good place. So we moved to London in Morden. It's in John Four. If you know the Northern Line, it's the last Northern Line. And yeah, since then we have been living here in the Morden. Um, I would say education-wise, in Nepal I did school level certificate there. SLC, which is the level 2 GCSE in the UK, and after that, in modern, 
my dad wants us to be me and my brother to be academic so he enrolled us into Erevo in Nochin I was there for like I was say one and a half years but I dropped out on my own uh, asking my dad because I would say it's all due to lack of uh, lack of confidence because I couldn't deal with the other like white people and other like people because it was like I would say cultural shock because at the age of 16, 17, I would say about 17, 18 I didn't know this culture, it was totally different so I was shocked and um, dropped out and after that I went to the Kingston College so I did plus diploma level 2 I couldn't communicate and ask questions to other people so yeah and after that I was in gap year for a few years and at the time yeah yeah so that that's that and after that again I enrolled in the Kingston University which is the level four and five it's not a full degree it was just the what do you call it like a foundation degree level four and level five so i did level four and five and for that i went to norway's Gallup partnership with history university and guess what again i dropped out so yeah so my highest qualification is level three a btech national diploma and after that i came back to modern in my parents house again so yeah after one and a half year it was unsuccessful so i got my uni dropout my qualification um, so I'm not like very small that's not the case and after that in the work wise my first job was that um, it was distributing pizza leaflet in modern because retail one of my friends from modern used to work there so he recommended that place so yeah at the time it was I would say four pounds per hour yeah that's a first job and after that I did a waiter job in Thunderway Broadway, the Broadway Thunderway in um, Wimbledon and uh, there's lots of people coming up now so Broadway Thunderway for like a few months and after that I was in KFC Wimbledon for like five or six years for this part time though because the reason why I should go there was just for the, you know, like I can drink whenever I want. So yeah, um, after that, I also used to work for G4S, like a security thing, for like, during Olympic 2021, so Olympic 2012, so that's for like a few months, I would say three or four months, and after did Paralympics. Um, Olympics, and after that, Norwich for my uni and um, it was say, 20, 2016 I started working for Virgin Media and after that I moved because from there also I was kicked out not due to my personal personal reason is just that there was because at the time it was the partnership with you know Mac Nicholas with the Virgin Media, so we were subcontractors, so yeah, so that wasn't good. And after that, I, what I did, oh, I start, want, because I always want to fix things and I want to create my own thing, so I wanted to be an engineer, like NASA engineer, haha, <laughs> yeah, so I, and after the Virgin Media, for a few months I was at home, in my parents' home again. Um, then I started working as in like different garages. At first, it was in Pakistani garages. As a, before, I didn't know the difference between the proper garage, mechanical garage, and the tire shop. So basically, it was a big garage. So I thought it's going to be a nice place, but actually, it was just tire shop. So I worked there for a few months. Nothing happened. They moved to the silicon one, and it's all in my area. Um, in the silicon tire shop, the same. And by the way, because Talibis always says that, you know. You have to work for someone free, keep, 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 and take. So I work all the places for free. 
and at the, and after that I moved to I got a job because I will I applied everywhere national tires quick fit everywhere like I had few interviews were unsuccessful and at it luckily in the universal tires Gordon they employed me and I was there for like two and a half years fitting tires and now you know that due to pandemic they followed I was followed for like almost a year so I still get 80% of my money and at the end of the follow like almost yeah I was kicked out because the company they shut down and they moved to different location um, but luckily without the, any cap Alan from my my current my current boss Alan from ADS I shouldn't say my name yeah from the current garage called me and since then I've been working here as a car mechanic you know the money is not great it's just not, I would say about minimum wage but it's just good enough to pay my mortgage and my bills my phone bills insurance and those kind of stuff and save like a few hundreds that's it so that's my life so far at the age of 32 see that due to Gorkas my dad and my granddad they were in Gorkas so that's why I got lucky to be here and I'm grateful to Queen and the you know like all the government for what for, for letting us Nepalese to come here and I'm grateful for that but what I haven't done I haven't done anything at all because I would say before I was like a bad social circle like drinking smoking gaming like those kind of bad habits but now I have come out of those habits because thanks to my little brother Nikes Dale if you are watching this video I'm very thankful to you my bye my brother um yeah so so that's my whole life 32 years old still living with parents but luckily my dad is a very he has like very practical energy and he's a very frugal person he says that at the age of 16 he started working and till now yeah he works really hard and last time like a few months ago when we had our first barbecue in our new house he says that since i've been working for it from it at the age of 16 he had his first barbecue in his own house at the back garden because he always wants wanted to buy a house because after retirement he went to hong kong worked there all his life and we were in nepal and he just sent money to us and me to he used to feed me my mom my dad so my brother and my grandparents Baji Buzu. so he like has a hard working person and he always wanted to buy a house and he saves lots of money because he's very frugal like i said before and luckily now we have like two houses my first one is in fail Palm. it's a four bed house near the Heathrow not Heathrow but yeah it's in fail Palm. and the second one is in right now where we are living now so before it's a three bed but now it's covered in a four bedroom house so that's my whole life story so far oh it's so windy man i can't even like hear myself so i'm gonna cut the video now because it's getting too long okay so that's my whole life in this video and uh, so like i said before this is the video message to myself in in the future so Tsugas, yeah what do you want to do in life i know i want to be like Martha Gandhi, or Teresa, but where's the accent i know i do read books and all those kind of like self-help self-development stuff i have already started on the journey and i don't have like any bad habits at the moment but i would say the reason for all this unsuccessful thing is due to my um, lack of confidence because i always suffer with this you know lack of confidence because this morning i was watching the rsd tyler video and he was saying you want to be your confidence should be like core confidence not like situational confidence because that's the problem with me because just to record this video i had to scan the people around me for like 10 15 minutes and you know that's me because i don't feel confident with my voice with my english with my everything yeah so that's my life and jokers i have to you have to wake up man you have to wake up be more confident explore the world travel the world grow as a person and let's see what i can do in the future i would say i have potential now because i'm not the same old jokers like who was going down with the spiral because my brother he wake me up and he had put me in the right track and i would say 
I have created like nice habits in the last couple of years but I'm not there yet because my accent is missing so I have to take a massive accent and try to find a way to come out of the rat race and be a helpful person in the society and change the myself grow as a person and you know be a good character and help this world so to just wake up and do what it can do as an accident and pursue in the future and hopefully For my dinner, I have stopped by here in the Water Mama. So basically, this is a um, British company with the um, Japanese cuisine. And so it was formed in 1992 by you know Chinese British person. And so the food I have, so the drink was is a peach iced tea. And for the starter, I have ordered the chili squid. That's chili squid. And for the main, it is called cod. Motukan soba and with the with the um five with the five butter sauce. So well, that's my dinner for today. Maybe there are also people around there, so it's quick lots of people. It's a big area. So there I go. So I'm gonna try the um, chili squid with the special sauce is called fire firefighter sauce like this. that was just very spicy this in like in half an hour time is gonna close soon so I have to hurry up and for the noodles as you can see it's a bit different this one is called called Mokutan Soba. Just for this, it's like 14 95 So in all together, I pay like so it was like 25 pounds for the food, and I give a five pound tip, so like 30 pounds. So it's a bit pricey. Um, so this comes with a thin charcoal noodle, two fillet of miso glazed cod, soy sauce, boko choy, magnet add red peppers, spring onions. Sweet moisture dressing, fresh ginger coriander. Mm -hmm. This. So let me try the. Um, mm -hmm. So it's kind of all blacked out. So black noodles, charcoal. This one reminds me of like a fresh noodle from Hong Kong, you know that? And I guess this is the hot fish. Oh, the potato that fire smell. It's nice, nice. It's very good. We have, we have one more thing that um, while I was recording that video, the video about the video later to myself, there was one guy. He's from China. He asked the question, are, are you also like a V-blogger? And I told him no. And I just said to him that I'm just, really, I'm just making a video diary. And that guy, he was a very nice guy. He was saying that he had like, he started like doing the video, like a vlogging. And his, his topic is just about scenery, about sites, the London videos. So he's just a regular deal, London, Iran, and he's a local guy. 
<laughs> his name was Shin Chen something, and he was saying he's gonna record, he's gonna invite me to the next group up with the Chinese people. Uh, yeah, so that was a great meeting. That was a nice meeting to a new person. I don't know, today after my 10th. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I feel different, I feel more energetic, and I know what I want. Yeah, so overall, today was a great day. And so now I'm gonna finish my food. I still got a few left. So I'm gonna finish my food and find a tube station and go to our home and take a nap. And tomorrow I have to have a service tomorrow. I would say this part is very nice. Before I head back to my home, so I just want to record this video. So that's the night view of Tower of Tower Bridge. Isn't that beautiful? I had a nice meal. I had the um, Wagamama, and that's the tallest building of the UK, and the seventh tallest building in Europe. <coughs> that's the um, sod. Yeah, so there's a river there, so that's London. It's windy and it's freezing cold. Ah. Okay, so that's it for today. And I did the number 10, done and dusted. So yeah, so I, guess I will see you in the future. So this time it's really bye. Bye for now. <laughs>